Yes, you can use Google Takeout, but I found the process to be pretty slow and it can be a little bit unreliable when it actually comes time to download the data. The other challenge with Google Takeout is you're getting a full dump of the whole account. And if you're running a business, you might not need every single piece of data like that, like all of the web history and every single photo sitting inside of Google Photos. What most business owners are interested in retaining is emails, calendar data, and any files that have been created from that person. Other than Google Takeout, is there another way to back up and migrate user offboarded data? There's actually three ways to offboard data for a user that is in the process of leaving your business. Now we've created a number of videos on our offboarding process. So if you search for offboarding, we'll give some tips on how to offboard your staff. But effectively on their last day, you want to immediately suspend the account so they no longer have access on any of their devices. And you can even, if you wanna go an extra mile, click a button to sign them out of any active devices. Now, once you've done that, it's time to do something with their data. And you've got a few different options in the Google world. Yes, you can use Google Takeout, but I found the process to be pretty slow and it can be a little bit unreliable when it actually comes time to download the data. The other challenge with Google Takeout is you're getting a full dump of the whole account. And if you're running a business, you might not need every single piece of data like that, like all of the web history and every single photo sitting inside of Google Photos. What most business owners are interested in retaining is emails, calendar data, and any files that have been created from that person. So there's actually two ways of migrating data inside the business. Now you can use the Google Workspace Admin Migration Tool. And the migration tool actually gives you the ability to migrate data from one mailbox across to another. When you use the built-in Google tool, it will give you a status update on that data being migrated. Although I do caution and warn you that from time to time, we found it to be a little bit buggy and it is sometimes slow. Now, one of the tools that we use is a third-party solution. We license it directly to our business. And so if you're a concierge customer of ours, we will actually do an automatic migration for you using third-party tools. Now, these professional third-party tools allow us to move the data cloud to cloud in the background without you having to do anything on your end. And what that lets you do is create a full copy of an account. And our recommendation is to move that into a centralized archive account inside your business. Now, I know there's a few technical things going on there, but just a reminder, there's three different ways of doing it. Number one is Google Takeout. Number two is using Google's built-in tools. And number three is using third-party solutions. Now, here's where we recommend you place all of the data because this is something that most business owners don't yet know about. We recommend you place the data into an archive account. And that archive account sits inside your Google Administrator panel. Let me show you what that looks like. So I'll go ahead and open up our admin panel here, admin.google.com. So I'm gonna open up my users. And inside my users, you'll see we have a user called IT Genius Archive. Now this IT Genius Archive user has all of the archive data from all the users that have left our company. And our recommendation is that you create that one bucket of data and you place all of the staff that have left your company into that bucket. So you just run the migration tool, place all their data in there, their files and their emails. And the other cool thing that you can do is if they have an alias, you could even move the alias across and into that archive if you want and even set a custom out of office response that says something along the lines of, this staff member is no longer with our company. Rather than your customers just receiving an email bounce when you inevitably delete the user that's left your business. If you like this content, please hit subscribe and hit the bell notification so you can be notified when we go live or drop new content on the channel. Now, if you'd like to connect with us, hit us up on social media or join our free community group. All the links to that are right below this video. If you'd like to learn more about Google Workspace and the technology ecosystem, you can join our free Genius Academy by transferring your billing across to IT Genius, or you can join a Workspace Basics Bootcamp. Now, if you're a business owner and you're interested in an audit on your technology stack or your Workspace account, or you're looking to do a project in the tech world, well, you can take advantage of our free consultation. And if you need help right now, then consider joining Concierge or taking up a quick fix with our team for professional support for your tech stack.